I am Lou with another episode of My Car Story. We're out in the western suburbs and I'm with my friend Tom Walters and he's got another great car for you today. Tom, what year make and model is this one? Yeah, it's a 1963 Dynamic 88 Oldsmobile Convertible. And you've had this one since? Uh, since 1978. <laughs> since yeah, I got 78. It. Yeah, since it was 15 years old I bought it. Yeah. <laughs> since I was 15. Come on right alongside me. And we're going to come right here, Tom, and we're going to show that old. That old. The old, old. How many of these, Tom, you go to car shows like I do, how many of these have you seen? They made 1,200, uh, not 1,200, they made 12,000 convertible uh, Dynamic 88s in 63. And how many do you see today? Uh, I haven't seen... Uh, in the last uh, 25 years, or 40 years actually, I've seen uh, two other ones, Yeah, and they needed a lot of work. So this Dynamic 88 is just a showstopper, as you can see. I just want to get that all in for you. I want to get a little lower. It's the right color, Bartone Mist. Bartone Mist. Original color on it, but it's been repainted. Yeah, it looks brown, but Bartone Mist. And it was repainted, believe it or not, in the 70s. Really? Yes. Well, this is great. Repainted in California. Where I got it. So there's an interesting story on why you got it, and we're going to share that. By the way, let me step back one more time. I want to show you this one with the top up. So I wanted to show it to you with what the top looks like up. And as you can see, that white top off the brown body, well, that just looks, I guess you could say dynamic. <laughs> but let me take a look and show it to you from the back. So you can see that big back plastic window and show it to you from there. And we'll go back to the car. And we're back. So the interesting story on this one that Tom is sharing is uh, where did you find this one? Uh, I, I found it in uh, I found this particular vehicle in uh, at my brother's place in Watsonville, California. The car was advertised in a, the local paper which is a really dinky little paper and it was an Aptos. A lady owned it in Aptos, California and was buying a 60 or a 76 uh, Mercury and she wanted to get rid of a car so that's how I ended <laughs> up I went to look at it I was just sitting at my brother's uh, and you shared it it didn't even say convertible on it no it did not say convertible it just said 63 O's and uh, it was pretty inexpensive so let's so let's enjoy our inexpensive old let's pop the hood since we have the hood in the sun oh yes this is this is just how we like it all like it came from the factory. So we've got Oldsmobile Sky Rocket. Use premium fuel because you have the ultra high compression. And we've got factory air. And the reason why I say that is a lot of times. Do you know what this is? That's interesting. Uh, no, I don't either. <laughs> All right, so somebody can tell us what that is on the channel. And also, I see we've got our tag right there for the car. This is just wonderful. Now in 63 that was a lot of hosing because if you couldn't see the you know the the um, spark plug wires right away like you can on this side they were like oh my god it's just so difficult to work on and I'm sure maybe it probably is so well, let's uh, let's fire it up shall we? And I actually put the silicone hoses on there too so they last for the next 50 years. Okay silicone hoses it'll last forever. I like that. You don't even get in it. No. <laughs> you just, this is so reliable, Lou. I just stand outside and oh, it's smooth too. Yeah, the compressor is on. I can tell the air is on. It's getting a little kicking. Just for curiosity, turn the turn the compressor off. Since you've had it out, no, no, that's why. That's why. 
Oh, you got that switch. Yeah. Step on the brake for a second, would you, Tom? Hop in it. And we will turn this around for you, too, so you can see it. Wonderful. Give me a little acceleration on this one. What's a 392 cubic inch, I believe? You can see the single exhaust. Beautiful. Thank you. And we'll turn this one around. So I told you we'd turn it around, and as you look at the back, you have that amazing badge right over the key. Now I have a little confession. I thought this was half of a V, and then it dawned on me, it's the Ols Rocket. So I thought this was like another piece was supposed to be there, but I was wrong. And uh, Tom was kind enough to say, no, Lou, it's the Rocket. So uh, also the original plates from California that came with the car. Let's open the trunk, shall we? we got, before you do that, I apologize. We got these great fins that I want to catch that quarter. Let me even step back one more. Just like that. Oh, yeah, that's great. Okay. Interesting, they put the Oldsmobile way down here where you can't really see it. If they would have put it up here, you would have saw it more. But they have that beautiful piece. Go ahead, Tom. Kind of these uh, waterfall like taillights. And we've got a little bit of trunk and treats for you. That's the original top end cover. Oh, like, really? Yeah. This is the original cover? Yeah, it got shrunk in the. It got shrunk uh, over the years. And yeah, it was hard to put down, but that's, yeah, don't pull it out. I can that's, see that's that. What's in there. Okay, and then we've got our '63 convertible folding top operation and care. I'm very careful with this. It talks to how to do that, how to fold it, etc. We're not going to go all the way through that. We've got the '98, '88, Super '88, Dynamic '88, and Starfire. And it talks about what adjustments you need between 1,000 and 1,500 miles, oil changes, all of the details, your start positions, operating speeds, hood latch, etc. Some nice photographs there. Really good stuff. Talks a little bit about the tuning. Again, I'm not going through all of it. Electric seats, etc. Your AM, FM radio and your owner's protection plan, which you can see the protector plate right there and some of the details here in the in the guidance maintenance. All right, we will, uh, and we've got a power antenna. I can see that. It works. Yeah, and it works. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's sure. shut this, shall we? Tom, may I go to the interior? Yes, sir, go Thank right you. ahead. Thank you. I just want to share, here's your Gasoline. Premium fuel on there too, I think. Yeah, you're right. Premium fuel only, not vented. As we go, first of all, before I go too far, just look at that overall instrumentation. I love the two spoke wheel. And we've got some nice, wonderful tan and brown there. It has a very natural look. We have the Oldsmobile information there your pedals your brake release lights wipers air this vents. air conditioning this actually goes this way with that almost floating badge right there let me sit inside it for a second we have your speedometer Tom now it says 14,000 miles on that that's not actually, it's 114. I was going to say, holy cow, yeah. It did 70 when I got it. It did it? Yeah. Look at that, your base, your clock, your top, antenna, and the Oldsmobile for the passenger as well as this light. You can see that door that way. Looks really nice. You have a day-night mirror, it looks like. Let me just show one other button. You have this button here, which features that light there as well as in the ashtray you've got each of those and look how detailed that is you can see it's got you know it's they could have just put any type of button but they put a very nice button in there yeah, it looks like the steering wheel <laughs> it looks like the steering wheel and there's your speaker right. and it looks like a nice bench seat I'll step back from that you got your adjustable 
Well, Tom, there's only one more thing to do. Let's take this one for a ride. Yeah, let's do it. So we're just about to take a ride, and then we're about to flip the visors up, and that's actually part of the car with the word Oldsmobile on it. Nice mirror, yeah. Yeah, that mirror. Wonderful for 63. Pretty cool. And let's take a ride. So Tom and I, again, are off on another exciting adventure. The 63 Oldsmobile Dynamic 88 Convertible. How's it feel driving it? Feels nice. We got a little cold air. Yeah, we do out. have. We got some. We got the air conditioning working. I want to show you these knobs. Notice you can see right through them. See my finger through there. Really nice the way they set that up. I'm going to show people where we're driving too. Some people tell me they're from different countries and they love to see what we're driving on. How nice is this? Look at that hood. Straight as an arrow. A nice hood ornament right down the center. I don't even know if you're going to put jewelry rather than hood ornament. So now you bought this car in California, you drove it back to Illinois, and then you brought it back to California. How'd that happen? Uh, you know, there were times when I felt like taking a long drive. <laughs> I, I had a brother living out there, too. That's oh, okay. That's All right. I, I was going to say, when I take a long drive, I drive about 10 minutes. <laughs> No, I, I, I drive longer than that, but I, I, I don't go all the way to California from I, Illinois. When my brother was out there, uh, he's been out there since he was in his early 20s. Okay. So I probably drove out there a dozen times okay. from the uh, time I was 20 to I was 40. You know. Are you the big brother or little brother? He's two years older. Okay, than he's the big brother. Got it. I'm sure he reminds you, too. Look at this. Look at where we're at. Perfect day. I'll tell you, when, when we get a perfect day, we, we need to take advantage of it, so this is what we do. Yeah, this is a pretty, pretty nice day. Yeah, we don't get a bunch of these in the Midwest, so we're gonna, every day is gonna look like a sunny day. Or, <laughs> yeah, it won't be long before winter's here. Yeah, right, right, right. So we're gonna take advantage of this. So when you drive this, how often do you drive this to a car show? Uh, I had this to one, Geneva car show one time. It's one a, time? Yeah. So nobody's videoed this car, nobody's seen it. Nobody's seen it. Nobody's seen it. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm just thinking out loud here. Okay, one question I have for the viewers. There is this, looks like green, but just turn the lights on just in case. Turn the lights on, see if that comes on. No, it doesn't appear to come on. Inside here is the ashtray. I don't know if that clicks out or something. No, it pulls out. Yeah. All right, so it just pulls out. Notice that. I think it actually works. All right, probably does. We'll You're pushing it. it. Yeah, we'll see if it pops out. But does anybody know what that light is? Oh, it did pop out. It's probably nice and hot. Yeah, nice and hot. Very nice. You let me know if you know it what that is. It hasn't been molested. Is. That's original carpeting. You know. Yeah, the car's fantastic. You know, these are all original everything. Yeah, we've got the we've got the kind of they call those the gauge lights there. Generator oil, hot, cold. Fuel's full. Good stuff here for sure. <laughs> you gotta see this. <laughs> Green light, guy, girl, standing in the middle of the street. <laughs> Little old lady. Wonderful. <laughs> I'm glad we got that on camera. People wouldn't have believed it. This old lady, Donna, just, that's my wife. This old lady just sat in the middle of the street while you're videoing. No, not in the middle. No, actually in the middle. <laughs> so, the camera don't lie. Back to our good looking view. You know, you never know what you're gonna see when you're videoing, right? I mean, and we've done a few of them. So Tom, as always, thank you so much for being on My Car Story. It's always a treat to video one of your cars. It's always a pleasure being with you too. Thank you so much, Tom. It's good to be with my old pal. <laughs>